you happy with how you're living your life? Our next guest says, if you change the way you move your body, you could change your world. Heather Hansen O'Neill is an award-winning speaker and author, uh, and of the author of Find Your Fire at 40, Creating a Joyful Life During the Age of Discontent. The Age of Discontent, is that what I have to look forward to? Oh, no, no, it's all <laughs> beautiful on the other side. Don't worry about it. So people reach that certain age and they realize they're not happy with their lives. What do you do? How do you intervene? Oh, I will help them reevaluate and help them find their unique gift, make sure they're living authentically, joyfully, passionately, and energized. All right, and we hear a lot about uh, the mind-body connection. How does yes. this come into play? Well, it's really interesting because people think that they understand that your emotional state affects your body. You're happy, you're smiling, you're lifted, you're sad, you're sunken, but they don't realize the power that we have to reverse that and change our body, therefore impacting our mental state and improving our mood. And there are some exercises that could help with this? There are. There are quite a few, but I'll just share are two different areas. One is a professional area and another one is a personal area. Okay. Okay, so let's start professionally. Yes. If you work at a desk, okay, let's say you come in in the morning, you've I'll had... I'll sit next to you. I'll be your little yeah. cubicle okay. partner here. Cubicle, cubicle buddy. <laughs> so you've had your water, you've had your coffee, you're feeling pretty good and you start out and you're typing and then you get some phone calls or some emails, you're getting frustrated, you feel like you're not going to have enough time in the day and now you're like this and you're feeling very tired. Okay. So what can you do to change that? You can sit back simply, roll your shoulders back smile who cares if you don't feel like smiling you know, smile always seems to help though it does not, that's exactly mood. that's what I'm talking about start with that and somebody might walk by and appreciate it and smile back but what you can do is you reach your hand all the way down on the side and then tilt your head to the side and you're going to switch that Okay. Because what we do is we hold tension in certain areas of our body. Our neck primarily, our jaw, our hands. So we want to relieve that tension. And if you're not terribly embarrassed, mm -hmm. you can get up. A lot of times when you're sitting, you hold tension in your lower back. So you okay. can come behind your chair and flatten your back and roll out okay. the lower back. That will help release that tension. It gets the blood flowing in it too, does. I would assume. Exactly. In like two minutes, you can improve your mood and uh, come back to your work in a more positive state. Okay. Personally, yes. let's say you're home with the kids. Okay, we do some things with our bodies. We're not sitting, if you have kids, you're not sitting, but you do other things that can harm you. Okay. You might be carrying a baby, so your hip is out, you're out of alignment here. You could be tugged on by a toddler. Perhaps you're saying the same things over and over again. I said, don't touch that. And, and no one's listening to you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're holding tension in your jaw. The first thing you do, put the baby down, put your shoulders back, open your mouth really wide. This is going to look a little I'm silly. I'm going to let you do that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but it releases the tension in your jaw okay. and then throw on some music because when you can dance around a little bit and liven it up you're gonna immediately feel better and okay. a bonus is that the kids feel better too everybody's they in a might even want to participate state. right exactly and, and then everyone's happy yes <laughs> so win -win, definitely now how often should you be doing these exercises whenever you start to feel a little de-energized I hear music Let's I'm dance. happy already. <laughs> Anyone want to dance with us? I think we're on our own on this one, but that's okay. Is this something that you would find in your book? Do you have yes, all this, this information? Yes, this is just one of the strategies that's in my book and my speaking programs. There's a lot of different things that you can do to be energized and passionate. All right. Any more exercises? We have some time. We could do. Oh, you do. <laughs> all right. Nothing too complicated, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, there are those areas where you hold the tension, so you want to release that tension. A big one mm -hmm. is simply, you, you notice that you're kind of sunken over sometimes, is lifting your chest. Lifting okay. your chest and breathing in through your nose, exhaling through your big mouth. Big deep breaths, right? Big deep breaths. You take three or four of those when you're feeling stressed out. It's going to relieve that tension and enable you to focus more on being positive and being more productive. You know, I would assume that your eating habits would also play into this. Definitely. Definitely. You want to stay energized. And when you have that break time, you grab a cup of coffee and a Snickers bar, sure, right. that's going to go bands. You know, if you have uh, an apple and some almonds, something with some protein, Protein and some fruit, that's going to keep your energy level way higher. Okay, now you have a book signing and people can get a hold of you how? I do. They can get a hold of me by going to my website, which is www.fireinfive.com. Okay. Lots of free stuff on there too. That's my fun. book signing is coming up at Molten Java Coffee House in Bethel, Connecticut on July 24th. Great. 
Yeah, yeah fantastic. Check it out. All right, now before we go, I'm going to give a special shout out to Brush and Floss Dental Center for bringing us our health and fitness segments each week. Heather, thank you so much for being here. This is a lot of fun. Thank you. I feel absolutely rejuvenated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we wanted to remind you also that Sales Fest is happening this weekend. It's a fun family event happening in New London. A lot of people dancing in the studio, but uh, more information on Sales Fest, you can find it at salesfest.org for more info there. Join us. We'll be right back in the kitchen. Don't go anywhere.